Well, good morning, everyone. We're getting closer to Friday, aren't we? Yes. Okay, I know you're all working hard, and I appreciate all of you being here um, for our uh, President Candidate Forum today. Um, I'd like to introduce Dr. May, who will be with us for about 40 minutes. Um, opportunity for all of you to ask specific questions that you would like, um, and for him to provide, provide answers and opportunity to interact and engage with you as students, um, because you are the most important part of our college. Um, we also, just a reminder that your feedback sheets are very important to us. Um, we fill those out before you leave and hand those in um, so that your voice is part of this process and we value that and we, we, we encourage that we really want that. Sarah is also going to act as our moderator again today and we'll be asking the questions for Dr. May. And so I'd like to turn the program over to her with our first question. Okay. okay? Thanks, Tina. Uh -huh. Good morning, Dr. May. Good morning, sir. All right, we'll jump right into it. The first question is, um, what role do you see the students playing in the college decision-making process? Well, first off, I'd like to say thanks for having me here. It's so good seeing all these students. Everybody, everyone doing well? Yes. Good, good. And I'm, I'm very encouraged to be here as a finalist for the top position here at, here at our Grand Rapids Community College. <clears throat> and the, the, the students, uh, the students need to be engaged. They, 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 there's a role to play in decision making. The, the community colleges uh, have, have what's called shared governance, and 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 these are bodies that are uh, that are comprised of multiple in, employee groups, in, in, inclusive of students. So, so so your voice needs needs to be heard. You know you are you, you're part of the 15,000 students at Grand Rapids Community College who 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 come who come to Grand Rapids Community College for a variety of things and <clears throat> excuse me not the least of which is a is a good education you know whether you're here for for transfer or a vocational program or uh, uh, occupational program you know whatever it, it, it is that you're here for <clears throat> the college is here to, to be a support to you so so yes there's uh, at, at the Highland Lakes campus of, of Oakland Community College I, I engage a lot with the with the student groups <clears throat> we have the Phi Theta Kappa uh, organization and, and I'm, I'm always there I'm, I'm at every induction uh, ceremony you know to speak some words and encourage, encourage you know new students in, into that organization and welcome those who are who are just being inducted we have a uh, we have a very large uh, uh, nursing uh, students association <clears throat> and and I also in, engage with with them so I have an open door policy and I like to in, engage with students and 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 just uh, you know ha have you tell me you know what's on your mind because institutions whether it be at Grand Rapids Community College or Community College or, or wherever else, <clears throat> we're not perfect. We, you know, we're not perfectly run and, and, we, and we need your input. Uh, students are not an, an interruption you know, to what we do. You're the reason we do what we do. So, so you know, keep that up, uppermost in your in your mind when, when you have have something on your mind that you want to share. You know, if you want to share it through through a formal network, uh, a student congress, if you will, as as, a, as a Sarah uh, leads, or or another another avenue. But but get your get your suggestions and, and get your viewpoints. Uh, hopefully, face to face, you know, made to to the leadership of the institution. And, and, and then if we don't do any, anything with that, that makes a statement about us. So, so you're very important. I'm glad you, take, you took some time out of your day. I, I know it's, it's, it's summer and, and you have many, things, many other things that, that you could probably be doing right now, but I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're here at, at, this, at this student forum, forum as, as an institution picks its next, next president, chief executive officer. So I, I was... Uh, not too long ago, I was a student in the PhD program at Wayne State University. Just finished uh, three years ago. I was a returning student, you know, much like much like many uh, community college students, returned with a lot of different encumbrances, with with, with family and home and, and full time job, uh, and, and 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 other other commitments. And so, it, you know, it's not tough juggling all of that. So I I have great respect for you. And, and, and we encourage you, as a leadership of the institution, we encourage you to have your voice heard. Okay, thank you. Um, our next question is, um, will we see you around the GRCC campus interacting with students? Oh, definitely. 
Absolutely. I, I know there are a lot of inter intercollegiate sports here. Uh, we have sports at Oakland Community College too, so I like to go to the games. I, I, I like to be a you know be a face, uh, you know, at the, at the student groups and all. I'm, I'm one that, that likes to walk around a lot. You know, you won't find me all the time in my office. Uh, obviously, there's some time that needs to be spent, spent at the office, you know, to get communication out and, and, and be available, you know, to the board of trustees and, and, and all because of, as, as, a, as a senior uh, leader of the institution, as, as president and CEO, that, that person reports directly to the, to the publicly elected seven member board of trustees. So, so uh, that body, Hires the, hires the leader, hires the president's CEO, so that the, the, the leader is responsible to, to the board of, of trustees first and foremost. But uh, yes, I, I'm a, I'm around. You know, you would if, if I'm so fortunate to be selected as your as, as your your next president, you, you know, you won't see me now and then not see me a, a year from now, if, if you will. Uh, uh, my uh, youngest daughter I just graduated from University of Southern California, and she, and, and she said she only saw the university president one time in, in four years. So, uh, and, and, and that's some of the large research institutions and all that may happen. That, you know, they're they're responsible for a lot of other things, fundraising and, and some, and you know, uh, meeting with the uh, legislature and the and the state uh, government and all. So, but uh, yes, I would be very visible around campus. Our next question is, um, where do you feel tuition rates will be going in the near future? Well, we we hope they will be uh, they will not skyrocket. Uh, tuition rates at, at at community colleges are very affordable, very affordable. Uh, you know, compared to the senior institutions, and you can take the take the same course here that you would take at the senior institution and, and pay half or one third one third the cost. It makes all the sense. It makes all the sense in in the world. Uh, with with uh, the the uh, climate, the economic climate that that we're in, you may see some some increases in uh, in, in in tuition. Uh, at Oakland Community College, the, the board of the trustees there have, have limited uh, tuition to the rate of, in, of inflation, and, and, and until the, the, another decision is made, which there may be some pressure to make that, that kind of decision at some point, and the rate of inflation being like 2.8 percent, where some of the senior institutions are going up in, in double digits. Grand Rapids Community College hasn't gone up exponentially like the, the senior institutions have. But, but, but you can see some, some, some modest increases as we see. Less and less uh, uh, state support, state appropriation support. A a a as you see, you re reduce uh, 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 property property taxes uh, for you know for, for the millage that, you know, that's in place at, at, at the college. So with uh, tax limitation le 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 legislation, the, you know those dollars uh, could could be reduced. And so so the college you know you know, must get out through the through the foundation and, and other avenues to gain some some external funding so that a lot of the brunt won't have to be borne by the by the students in the higher tuition. So uh, I'm 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 hopeful. And, and, and I'm sure that the Board of Trustees here at, here at Grand Rapids Community College, I was, my wife and I were privileged to have dinner with them last night. And you all have a great board. You all have a great board. And then the leader that was lost, Dr. Juan Oliveira, is going to have some very big uh, shoes in which to fill here. He, he did a wonderful job. So, and, 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 and I'm sure all of them are representatives of you and, and will continue to be. So I'm hopeful that community uh, college tuition can remain very affordable in the future. Okay. Um, you mentioned a little bit about Phi Theta Kappa, but um, our student life is going up in involvement. How do you plan to support student life here at Grand Rapids Community College? Well, uh, you know, resources need to be, be dedicated to student life, to, to having the, you know, the whole student. You know, it, it's not just that you're in, in the classroom all the time. There are things outside of, things outside of the classroom that that uh, that in the realm of student life you ought to be about because that makes that helps make the complete person to you know to have inside the classroom activities outside the classroom activities uh, in the community activities where they might be you know, service learning projects or, or working with a, uh, a nonprofit uh, organization or, or cooperative education uh, uh, opportunities and and, and and the like, but uh, student life is is very 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 important, and, and the institutional should dedicate appropriate, and I'm sure Grand Rapids Community College does dedicate appropriate dollars to to ensure that the students can get the whole experience, not a limited experience at the college. Okay.
Um, where do you see GRCC in five to ten years? It's hard to say because I'm not here. <laughs> it, 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 that's a tough question. But uh, I, I, I see Grand Rapids Community College growing. Uh, there's a there's a need to grow, you know, because there's tuition at the 15 state supported universities and college continues to increase. It's going to push more students, just with economics alone. It's going to push more students to to the community college. So it it, it, would, it would be hard. You'd almost have to have to limit enrollment if you didn't want to grow. So so I, so, so I, I think in the economic climate uh, that we're in uh, o over the course of the of the next five years, you will see Grand Rapids Community College continue to grow. And, and there's, a, there's a lot of outreach in, into the community that will help the institution grow, grow as well. Okay. Um, affirmative action is a sensitive subject in Michigan. What is your perspective regarding affirmative action? Well, affirmative action was, was in play here uh, up until Proposal 2 proposal to fail. We, we need a level playing field for everyone. You don't necessarily have to have uh, you know, the policy in place as long as, it, it, as you have, have good minds that, you know, that are leading your institutions and, and endeavor to make the playing field level for everyone. The, you know, the best institutions are those ones that are diverse. As I, as I look out at you today, you're, you're a diverse student body. And that is, that is great. There's there strength in, in, the, in diversity. I, I read about a conference uh, uh, some years back where, where they were playing Trivial Pursuit. And, and in, in, one, in one room, there were all uh, uh, Caucasian CEOs. In another room, there, was all, there were all women. In another room, there was a, it was all another race, and and then in another room, there was a diverse group of all the groups, and and the and and, and that's kind of trite. You might, you might say it's kind of trite, but the but the winner in Trivial Pursuit were, was a diverse group because we all have have different experiences. We all bring different things to the table, and we all bring important things to the table, and 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 the the work of tomorrow. It's going to be, the best worker of tomorrow will be the one who knows a lot about a variety of ethnicities and, and races and all. So, so what I'm saying about affirmative action, you don't have to have it, have it in, in the name. I was, I was disappointed to see proposal two. Uh, I, I was really encouraged by the University of Michigan and the way they fought it, you know, with the, with the resources there at the University of Michigan. But it, it just, it just simply wasn't to be. But even though that's gone, it do, doesn't, doesn't take away the responsibility for those in leadership to be fair. Okay. Um, our next question is what kind of change would you bring to GRCC? Well, you know, Grand Rapids Community College is a quality institution. Every, everyone I've met, everything I have read so far, everything I have researched, uh, obviously the people I've met, the, the tours that I've, I've been on, my wife and I went on a tour, tour last night. Uh, it's just been outstanding. Some of the awards that you've already received, the continuous quality awards with the, uh, uh, the Michigan Quality Award, no other community college in the state has that. The, uh, the, the AQIP Vanguard College Award, that's awesome. And you also ha have applied for the Malcolm Baldrige Award, which is a top, uh, which is a top quality award in, in the nation, re regardless of, of area, whether it's education or corporate or, or public or the private sector. So I applaud uh, Grand Rapids Community College for, for the things that are already in place. What, what I would bring, I, I, would, I, I would come, I would try to learn the internal community first. I would be internally focused and, and uh, working, working with the, the Board of Trustees because uh, but Grand Rapids Community College, as large as, as it is, mu you know, must be a player in the external community, whether that's in the local community, in the state of, in the state of Michigan, or, or in the United States. You, sh you should be, be a, a, a player, a, a quality institution li uh, like this. The, the, the leader, the president CEO, needs to, needs to be a player in the, in, in the, in the broader community. So, so I, would, it, it, I would research a lot of that. I'll be internally focused, and, and, and then I would do some things uh, ex externally, because it's, it, it's important that when, when things surface, when community concerns and issues surface, that Grand Rapids Community College is a, is a definite resource 
in, in you know in, in, in the county areas in the Kent Ottawa County area here. So we, you know, the, the college should be called upon for for every expertise, whether whether it's it's in regardless of of the level where it is. It could be a fact a question concerning faculty. It could be a question you know concerning research. It could be a question concerning. Uh, student activities and student development and student leadership. It could be a question over a plethora of, of areas. But uh, so, so I, would, I, would, I would just I would come in and evaluate uh, all of that and, and, and move a, accordingly, you know, in the internal and the external communities with in, in the full cooperation of the Board of Trustees. I appreciate the there are four four board members here today. And and five of your board members of your Board of Trustees have, have take, either taken classes or have graduated from Grand Rapids then junior college. So, so that's quite commendable to, to have so many at the table of your governing body to have been students and graduates and now alumni of this institution. Okay. Um, our next question is what is your greatest strength? And it's followed up with what is your greatest area for improvement? My greatest strength, I think, is, is in uh, relationship building. I've had over the 21 years that I've worked in, in community colleges or at, at Open Community College and the 15 years prior to that in, in, in private industry, I, I've, I've been able to, uh, to, to reach people. I, I've been able to, to, to have uh, uh, individuals and, and staff members and, you know, you know, buy into the vision, buy into the vision, become part of the vision, own the vision. And, and and move forward with that. So, so I, I think relationship buildings, uh, friends building in the external co community to you know to get external support. You need the external support if you're going to get get the millage that was that, that, that was failed by only 373 votes. If you're going to get that passed, that that will add a lot of dollars to to the bottom line here. A lot of operational dollars that are that are sorely needed, I'm sure, or, or the institution would, wouldn't be out there seeking seeking millage more more uh, uh, public funding, more more funding from the local. Local, local community. So uh, I guess that's how I would respond there. Okay. Um, what do you think students want to achieve at GRCC and how can you help them achieve their goals? Well, I think I think students come here just like they come to any community college with a with a variety of goals. So, some want to transfer to, to senior institutions. Some are, are probably maybe even 50 percent or so are, are coming to, to you know to get that that foundation. Those for first two years of a of a of a four year program completed and hopefully leave with with a degree. You leave with, with a credential. That's that's great. If you get get 62 credit hours and you leave with a social degree before you embark on the on the back bachelor's degree. So I think that's one big reason to, uh, students come to the community college. It's accessible, it's affordable, and the, and the credits transfer when you're ready to go at a, probably a half or a third of the cost that you would pay at the senior institution. Just make sure you're working working with a counselor who has transfer guides and, and you know for the senior institution of your choice and when the transfer student is ready to, to transfer. So you make sure that all those credits work for you. Because there are a lot of articulation agreements, seamless transfer that are built that, you know, between the uh, community college and the senior institutions around the state of Michigan. So, uh, and uh, other students come for, you know, for a, a year or, or two for a, a career program or a vocational type program, a, a training to upgrade their skills so that they can be be uh, better employed or at least employed in the in the in the in the environment. And and, and there are a lot of workforce areas, about 17 uh, to be exact, at Grand Rapids Community College. Areas that, that you can go into, like nursing or, or, or dental and and and, fi and 15 others, where you're employable once you once you get out. And sure, you can come back for to to to, to gain other skills and, and, and even even get the transfer credits that you need to, to transfer to secure if you want to go that route, you know, a baccalaureate degree or, or beyond. Um, our next one says, could you give an example by sharing a personal experience where maybe a student or a family member of a student shared with you an experience about a program where you were involved with or helped implement during your career? I would have to go to a, a scholarship that I started at the at the college uh, years ago called the, called the Pontiac uh, Center and Community Scholarship. I was the director of the Pontiac Center in downtown Pontiac. That was my first job at Oakland Community College back in 1987 when I came came aboard the college out of private industry, and 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 so seeing seeing the need in 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 the, in the Pontiac community, I, I, I endeavored to start a scholarship. I started off very. 
uh, very small, and uh, we had a had a pancake breakfast in 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 downtown Pontiac. That was there was already a pancake series in place, but we didn't have the college didn't have a spot there. So I made a few calls and and got the college a spot. And so we. Uh, you know, I asked people from the from the college community, from the board members on down through every employee group, to 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 come support the breakfast. Either work at it from on a Saturday morning between May and and uh, uh, just after Labor Day was the, was the last Saturday, and uh, you know at a very modest cost, people could come and 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 have, and have their pancakes. But any contributions over and above the three dollar cost of the pancake went to the scholarship fund. And and after just a couple of years, I, I I invited a young man who was a graduate of or soon to be graduate of Pontiac Central High School to, to be the first recipient of the scholarship and I, I can still remember it like it was yesterday. His name is uh, Tony Kowser. And, and I, I said, don't, at this point, I, I don't have the, uh, we don't have the funding to, to guarantee a second year. But I said, Tony, I remember like it was yesterday. It's been years ago now. I said, I said if you maintain a 2.8 GPA at Oakland Community College through your first year, you will get a second year if I have to fund it myself, and I would have. But fortunately, a lot of members of the, of the college community and the external community contributed contributed to this fund. Make a long story short, well, he told Tony said, "Well, Mr. May, you better start looking for me some money now, because I'm going to at least have a 2.8." He graduated a year, two years later with a 3.8. Went on to Wayne State on a transfer scholarship, and and uh, went to went to work in private industry. And and, and make a long story short, he, he's now an entrepreneur in Los Angeles. With a, a clothing company called Guapo Wear, for as a, a Guapo Guapo in, in, in Spanish, it you know, stands for handsome or beautiful. So he started with the men's clothing wear and then extended it to women. He's going to be a self-made made millionaire. And now 26 other students have matriculated right along the same lines with the scholarship fund. It is now an endowed scholarship. Will forever be a part of Oakland Community College and the Pontiac community. Related to the presidential position, what animal would be symbolic of your management and leadership style and why? What animal? <laughs> oh, I'm, I guess maybe a tiger. I'm pretty quick on my feet. <laughs> I, I played football at Indiana University and I was the fastest offensive lineman at, at a mere 230 pounds then years ago. I graduated in 72 with a bachelor's in business management, but, but got a chance to play uh, college football there. And, and, and I, was, uh, I was pretty quick. My father ran cross country in college back in, in, the, in the 1930s. He graduated from Illinois Normal, which is now Illinois State University. So, so he, 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 I think I got some of my endurance from, from, from him. And I can, run, I can run long too, not as long as he used to run as, as a cross country runner. Uh, but so, so I, I, if I had to answer that question, I would say, I, I would say a tiger, kind of on the uh, aggressive side a bit, but nimble, quick, and can get in and out of situations what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our next question is, what is your policy or approach to inclement weather closing? Oh, okay. We uh, the the. the uh, the way it happens at, at Oakland Community College, the four presidents, I'm one of four presidents there, we get, we get a call about 5 o'clock in the morning from, from what we call our college closing coordinator. It's normally a public safety uh, officer. And so this public safety officer has been up two hours prior to that, get, getting all the information from the road commission and, and, and talking to the uh, uh, buildings and grounds supervisor on each of the campuses to see the condition of the parking lots and all. Because it, commute, commuter college, uh, colleges like Oakland Community College and like a lot of community colleges where you don't have residential housing, uh, you have to de you depend on those parking lots to be clear, to, to, to be absolutely clear, or you can't, you know, regardless of what else is going on, if you can't get in and out of the parking lot, you're not going. You're not going to be able to, to to have class a day. So, so with, with all the input from the college closing coordinator, uh, we, we make the call. The four of us make the call. What, uh, whether we're whether we're closed or not. You hate to you hate to close. Uh, you know, because students like you are. You know, have have classes, and 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 it may impact impact the semester if it's er, you know late in the semester or so, and and all, and and you all have 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 lives as well as anybody else. So 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 you try to be be really discriminating the way you make that call. Uh, you don't want to be closed too often. So at Oakland Community College, probably 
once one, once a year possible, sometimes two, but rarely more than two times a year will, will we have a, a college-wide closing. And, and, and then all the announcements go out to all the, all the media on the college's website. Call, calls are made, fan out lists are generated so that everyone, everyone that works at the college is called early on, you know, prior to them, them embarking, a, 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 you know, hitting the roads and on the way to the, to the college. The, 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 most, the most critical of that is at my campus because of the nursing program and the clinicals where students are really starting out early because the hospital clinicals are, are you know, they're, they're on site and, 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 and working. Some Sometimes 6:30 in the morning, so you really have to get the call call going going quick. You have to make a, a good a good a comprehensive quick decision, and then and then get the communications uh, process in place. All right, our next question: GRCC embraces social responsibility. Detail your intentions to enhance our role in the community. Well, I, I would anticipate being a player. In the in, in the in the broader community, I would you know big uh, big events in the in the community. I would I would definitely want to attend or, or have some member of my team attending. There, there should be a presence from Grand Rapids Community College at a at a lot of uh, uh, major events uh, because when you're not there, people are wondering where are where are you? Uh, you know, Grand Rapids Community College, Oakland Community College is absent from this particular a activity, and maybe some of your competitors are there. They're there and and. and and you're not. It, it, it doesn't doesn't look good. So I I, I would be there. I would. Uh, I'm I'm there. I haven't missed. A, I've only missed one commencement in 21 years at Oakland Community College. One commencement. I've only missed. I've not missed any of our nursing painting ceremonies of six since I've been the, been the president of Highland, Highland Lakes campus. But it's uh, the, the the external co community. Are stakeholders in in the college via, via property taxes. And any, any homeowner in the county is, is paying some property taxes to Grand Rapids Community College. And those property taxes equate to $30 million here in Grand Rapids in, a, in, a, in, in one year. So very, 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 very important to, to, you know, to be a, a contributing uh, uh, force in the external community and, and make sure that, that they see you, that they know you, and they expect you at, at, at different activities. Um, if you could talk about your personal philosophy on diversity and incorporating it into your professional responsibilities. Well, the diversity it is very important. As, as I mentioned earlier, the you know the, the best institutions, the best companies, the best organizations are, are those that that have diversity. And, and because you know <sighs> one way of thinking is is not necessarily the best way of thinking, but but when you get when you get a conglomerate of people from from different uh, ethnic backgrounds and racial backgrounds and uh, gender, uh, sexual orientation, uh, physical disabilities, uh, political persuasions, and and all all of that, you get them uh, them all together, and and you're going to have a better society. So so I'm I'm very much a, a proponent. Of, of diversity, I, I've, I've served on, served on, and helped start uh, various uh, diversity initiatives in in Oakland County. You know, over the 21 years that that I've been there, I was a college just representative on the Birmingham Bloomfield Task Force on uh, racial and, and ethnic diversity, and and and, uh, and also at each of our each of the campuses have diversity committees. There's a college-wide diversity committee. I get very very involved. Go to go to as many of the activities uh, as I possibly can. Be a, be a supporter for the speakers. Series and and you all are doing quite well with diversity here. I, on the tour, I, I visit the Woodrick uh, uh, Diversity Center. I was very very impressed with that, that that you have a site for diversity. That makes a statement about this institution. All institutions don't have that. Okay. A lot of institutions don't have that. Um, what personal attributes do you think are needed to be a successful community college president? I would start off with uh, with integrity. Uh, perseverance, discipline, dedication, uh, openness, uh, communication skills, you know, uh, both, both written and oral. Very, very important to, to, to be a role model of sorts, you know, to a lot of, a lot of different people, not necessarily all from your, you know, from your own gender or your own race, but to, those are, those are some of the qualities that I think that I consider that, that I have. Um, straightforward, 
I'm an honest person. I have I have a lot of integrity. And it, when, when I was uh, interviewed by the, uh, uh, the the writer from the Grand Rapids Press, and at the end of, end of the interview, she says, "Is there anyone else that at the Oakland Community College you'd like me to call?" I thought about that for a minute. I said to myself, there's 850 employees of Oakland Community College. I said, take your pick. She said, I already have. But I just want to know if you had anybody you'd like me to call other folks. So, so in, anyway, uh, it's, it's, it's just very, very important. And, and, and I, would, I would move, move that diversity, and, and, and I'm sure that the board, I know that the, your board embraces diversity here. I've, I've seen it in, 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 uh, in what I've read and what I've seen since I've been, been privileged to be here among you all. Um, if you could discuss your personal and professional background experiences that have prepared you for this role. Okay, my, I, I was in uh, private industry for 15 years. I worked in trucking industry management right out, right out of a business management uh, degree program at Indiana University. So, so, so that a lot of my experience, my first 15 years of professional experience was in the, was in the uh, private sector, if you will. Learned a lot there. Learned a lot there in operations and in, in uh, marketing and sales and and maintenance and 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 also you know re representing the uh, representing the the corporation when there was litigation put put forward. So I had a, I had a lot of experience in my, in my pr private industry, and then started teaching while I was still in private industry. Started teaching in the business department at Oakland Community College at the Auburn Hills campus, and then came on as a full time administrator back in 1987. So I, I made a mercury switch from the from the uh, public. Uh, from the private to the public sector in 87. Ne never really looked back. Never really looked back. And, and now I have uh, 21 years working in, 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 in community college, in, in community college lead leadership. And, and, and this summer I'm also uh, teaching at, at Oakland University in the PhD program for educational uh, leadership. I'm teaching a, a, uh, a course called Current Topics in, in Higher Education. A very small class, only six students. Uh, for a PhD track, two or post masters, uh, but but this might this very well could be the next generation of of, uh, of college leaders. So so I I've not only lived it now for for 21 years now I am in effect uh, teaching in, in in education in the realm of educational leadership. So so at Oakland in my uh, at Oakland Community College those 21 years I've I've been a director. And executive director, I've served as a government relations liaison for three years. I was the interim dean at two two campuses, one of which now I'm the president of. I was an interim president at the Auburn Hills campus, the largest of our five campuses with 8,700 students. I was executive director of two campuses, Royal Oak and Southfield. Two campuses, one representational area, if you will. One president handles uh, handles both uh, both of those campuses, and the last six years as president of the Highland Lakes campus. So I've I've, I've gained a lot of experience over the years, and, and experience that I would sincerely like to bring to Grand Rapids Community College to see how we could collectively grow the institution. Um, you've hit a couple of these points, but what kind of growth do you anticipate leading at GRCC? Um, personal, business development, community access, things like that. Well, I think all, all of the above. I, I, I think that uh, you know the communities must be the college must be accessible to, to the community, and from all that I've, I've read and researched about Grand Rapids Community College, you 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 are, and you have reached out into the ex external community with the with the learning center. I just saw the, the learning center with the MTech operations. I didn't see the one in Holland, but but I did see the Tassel uh, facility uh, yesterday. So so the, the the community college has has reached reached out in the Grand Rapids Community College and, and, and that's and that's commendable. As well the community college should. Community is in the name of community college. So it's important to be a to be a comprehensive community college and reach all the the publics that, that sincerely need the services that the college can provide. Um, what should community colleges be doing in terms of supporting their first year students? We just started an FYE course. Is there anything else that we could be doing? 
Well, the, the FYE course, first year experience course, is, is, is very important. We, we have, at our college, we have been talking about it, but, but we haven't really started the program yet. We've, uh, many of our campus people from our campus community have gone to, uh, to seminars and all. So I anticipate that we will, that we will start a, a first year experience program. But, but it, it, it's, it's very important. You know, people come from di different backgrounds, and, and all. It, it's good to get them all, if you can, in, in a room and talk about the first year experience. What, you know, in an orientation, and I'm, I'm involved with the student orientations too, new student orientations. I'm there, we have a, a, a you know, once the students have received a lot of information, they go go about a tour or to another session. I'm there with the parents, myself and the and the, the three deans that they, they report to me and some other other managers and directors at at our campus to talk about the parents. And and, and what happens, they too end up as community college students. Sometimes once they learn that all that's that's available, and now their their son or their daughter is about to embark upon, they too you know hear about the program. And say, Wow, maybe I can do that. So, so it's it, it, it it's just it's just very important. Um, could you describe your ideal learning environment and culture? My ideal ideal learning environment is it is one where where there's a lot of people, where where, where there's diversity, where we can. Uh, you know, exchange ideas with 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 one another. There, there's le learning in and of itself when when you, when you converse with uh, with people. You, you never you never know unless the person starts talking and starts sharing things with you. You never know what they can bring to the table or what they might bring to the table. And, and if, if you don't if you never query them or 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 just give give some kind of a, a gesture to welcome them into the to the discussion. You, you may never know. You may never know. So, so it's uh, so be, you know, be 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 open, uh, share information, be, be, because there's, uh, you know, if you're being being very successful, help somebody else uh, be be successful as well. Maybe they're just not managing their their time like you're managing managing your time. Maybe they're not accessing the the right. Uh, student services, if you will, or student support services to be successful, whether or not whether that's a tutor or whatever that that might happen to be. And sometimes you just need to get get over over a hump. So sometimes all of us just need to get over a hump. I remember a hump for me was in eighth grade algebra. It was that was a hump for me for whatever reason. I, I wasn't just getting it from the teacher. So so my next oldest brother's very good very good friend, his name is Paul Bledsoe, worked with me on the on the on the algebra, and I got it from him where I didn't get it from from, from whatever reason for the from the teacher, and I ended up going from a, what would have been a D to a B in that in, in that course, and really set the foundation for later because I had I had mathematics in my business pro program at, at at Indiana University and had to take a five statistics classes in my in my PhD program I think that was a foundation had that not happened it's, it's no telling where I would be right now and I got a chance to, to, to thank him for that uh, for that opportunity he's in he's in Los Angeles and the daughter was graduating from from college out there I had a chance to meet with him and personally thank him because I, I may not be standing in I likely would not be standing in front of you today had it not been for Paul Bledsoe um, what do you think makes you the most qualified candidate for this position? Well, I think I'm the, I think I have a lot of experience. I have a lot of good experience. I have some experience in the private industry that, that transfers well to, to the community college. And, and now 21 years of working directly in the community college. I've seen it from both sides. I've seen the private sector and now the public sector for, for 21 for 20 years. There, you know, there's, there's strength in that. Uh, colleges are, 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 are businesses by and large. You know, they, they have to make the most out of the dollar that, that, that they receive. And in business, it, it's just, you know, I, I had the pressure of never being, uh, you know, the question, the, the question was, you're only as good as your last 28-day accounting period. Everything else is forgotten. 
So, so, so it, it was a lot of pressure in that, and, and reporting on a on a daily basis uh, the production, you know, of, of the company, the the money's coming in, the money's going out, the the the, the uh, deliveries and all the you know the service that, uh, that, that was provided, and and then the, for the last last 21 years, as I mentioned earlier, the the many positions that I've I've had with in in those 21 years, and prepared myself educationally too, you know, through and including the the PhD program, which was in and educational leadership and, and policy studies. Apprehension was going into those statistics classes uh, because I hadn't had statistics in 20 plus years, my undergraduate program. But uh, but I had a fantastic uh, professor, stuck with him for the entire series uh, sequence of those stats classes and got A's in all of them except one and A minus in one. And, 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 and so that, being that my PhD is so recent, my research is recent, my, my knowledge is recent, in, 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 in statistical in statistical things and research things, where if someone makes makes a presentation and, and, and I see, well, why are you, why are you taking that alpha level or or about these degrees of freedom? I don't, I don't know. I, I might have. I know I know successful and I know appropriate research when I see it, and when when I don't, I question that. So, so the uh, uh, I think that's a strength. You know, where some people have had their their degrees for. 30 years, they're very far removed from, you know, from the classroom environment. I'm not, and I think that's a, another strength that I have. Okay. Well, I think that was going to be our last question. So I, on behalf of the students, I just want to say thank you for coming in today. And do you have any final comments you want to make? Uh, well, I, I would just say uh, stay engaged, stay engaged in what you're doing, stay engaged with, with, with the community college. With, you know, whether I end up as a chief executive officer, president here or not, I wish you all absolutely well. I, I know that you're encumbered in, in a lot of different ways. You're not simply just just going, just going to college. You have to have to spend your time. Be persistent. Be persistent. Pers persist un un until you finish. There, there's a book uh, by Stephen Covey called Seven, Seven Habits of Highly Highly Effective People, and, and one of the one of the strategies or uh, the ways is begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. Persist. Persistence. I heard once. I don't know who this quote is attributable to, but but the quote on persistence says that that persistence makes the the impossible possible, the possible likely and the likely definite. So persist right, right on through uh, and, and lay down those dreams, make those dreams, stick them far out, and, 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 and even if you don't reach them, you'll, you'll come close and you'll be you know, better off for, for, the, for the effort. There, you know, nothing, nothing comes easy. Uh, you know, there, uh, a quote I heard too, there's no shortcuts to any place worth going. And this is not a shortcut for you. I know that. So, you know, dedicate yourself to being the very best you, you can be to, you, you know, to make an, an environment and, and to be a role model for others who come behind you, whether it's family members or members of the community that are looking at you. And when you least expect it, people are looking at you and watching you. So, so be a good role model for all. Thank you.